Sundowns against Supersport United in DSTV Premiership. Let's take a look at how these sides line up. Richard Ofori, a welcome return in the CAF Confederation Cup match against Royal Leopards. Here he is returning to DSTV. How do you evaluate them? The amount of attacking players in that Olang Tai team is just amazing. But uh, you look at the draws they've accumulated 11. That tells it to the bench for Orlando Pirates. Well, for Supersport United, they're a side that have made only one change from the side that started the Tuna League win over Amazulu 11 days ago. If you go back to their last DSTV Premiership encounter, but Ronan Williams has got to be key. Will change. And of course, uh, Supersport are no different themselves, but uh, they'll be sitting back. It's an away game and it's a difficult game to play because of the, the condition. It's always going to be an intriguing affair. While the uh, match official later has been here on numerous occasions for Orlando Pirates, and a man who's had a love-hate relationship with the, uh, the ghost over the years, here's Reynos inside that 18-yard area, it takes a shot that's not very far away, it's taken a deflection. He tries to close him down there, he's got that split second to cut into the inside and whip it with a lot of pace and a good spin to it. The sport United go flat, that's a ball that's bouncing around and should be punished it is! Keegan Johannes with his first against Orlando Pirates, his second of the season and what an early start for Supersport United, they brilliantly take the front. Second successive match in which Supersport United have taken an early lead. Richard Ofori upon his return to DSTV Premiership is beaten, he is not a happy goalkeeper. You see there's a cluster of players in front of him but uh, he connects so beautifully as he wrapped his foot over the ball. I mean, it's a difficult technique to apply to start with under the conditions. Brilliant. Obviously, for Foro must have seen very little of it. Poor a defensive work that they didn't create from the onset of Lando Pirates. King Inuanis, who scored the winner in a 3 2 victory over Cape Town. But uh, it's still a long way to go. And, uh, but it's a good start for Supersport. I think they'll be very happy that at least the pressure is on Orlando Pirates. Here's another chance. Rainers looks to tee up a teammate and Dar makes the big block. Gabani Lungu trying to... Orlando Pirates a little shaky in the opening stages defensively. This is the diagonal ball. He's working perfectly. To the 40. Not be delighted that he's already been beaten today. Goal came from a set piece. Here's another. Would you believe it? Gabani Lungu gets up high as the manages to deflect the ball beyond Richard or 40. Orlando Pirates defensively, so Stuart usually are falling to pieces in the early stages of this tie against the Supersport United side that is not unaccustomed to scoring goals against the Buccaneers. It's not so long ago when Matoho just run in in between the two defenders uh, with the goalkeeper coming late to cover this time before he stays in, in goals but uh, that ball came a little bit too quick for him to react to it but you've got to mind him apparently European clubs looking at Uli Sander one two Pandile Shandu looks for the cross in here decent looking delivery as well and Dion Otto has put that over was there the slightest of touches from Keenan Phillips the slightest of touches if there was a very light, which you think uh, the only and then see what you can do in managing the game come the second half, which will also give Paris enough time to devise their own ways. Shot here from Rage is a thunderbolt that is tipped over by Richard O'Forty. Well, referee is look at this from Phillips, runs onto it and thrashes it. I think there was definitely a touch of some sort, yeah. yes, without a doubt. That tip over must have done the trick. The toss beam was going to pass off. Look at all that is an incredible out bowling. Yeah. In these conditions, it's brilliant. He tested Orlando Pirates. Critical moment as well because 3-0 uh, scoreline, the Pirates are not coming back from you. Get the sense. Great chance here to score one there. And he stabbed it straight at the goalkeeper. Mavasso with an opportunity. Rodwin Williams at his gets it past all the defenders. Mavasso. Yeah, you're right. Just down to the side. That is for me fantastic here from Marco, who had everything to go down easily and then I think he could have been rewarded with a foul in his favour, but continued to push and almost, almost gets rewarded. Ah, it's an excellent machine and also his speed to get up and make a second save. Weber, 
Weber doesn't go far away. Only just high of the crossbar. Listen, because you can normally go for power like that. The ball normally goes way over, but that wasn't too far. And again, these are wet conditions, certainly not easy for scored in his Pirates debut against Cape Town City. Great chance here, ball across the face of goal. And no touch from Bandila Shandu. Ball flash across the face of the goal. Makes good contact, that's a goal. I mean, it's like zero reaction for Ronin, so close. Hotto. Marco, now Bandila Shandu. Looking for somebody in space. Real charge here, Mabaso. She was tempted to actually uh, run out to, to make the save, but I realized it was too low and too far out of his line. Level with his right into a little bit of space again. Opting for the short passes here, Orlando Pirates. It's not serving them well at the moment. Chip behind the defensive line. A real chance through here. Is there a challenge for a penalty? There's appeal. And a penalty has been awarded. Orlando Pirates will have an opportunity from 12 yards out to try to pull themselves back into this game. In here. He just rushes in. And uh, with, uh, was it Lamin in front of him? Where he just needed to maybe guide him away from uh, taking a shot instead of uh, clattering over him. Oh, in fact, it's Masango that he bangles into. Without a doubt, uh, there's conduct made from behind. It was Dion Hotto to bring Orlando Pirates back into this game. Up against Ronan Williams. Hotto goes strong. Hotto goes true. Orlando Pirates, just before the half hour mark, have scored a goal that brings them back into this tie and certainly makes this a very interesting game. We spoke about this traditionally being a high score. All that he needed is to be goal side. He would have avoided that. Right through the centre is uh, Hotto, with Ronwin choosing to go to his right. I was just firmly struck, Dion Hotto. He scored Orlando Pirates' first goal of the season. He's now scored the most. Shandu! Shandu is one on one! Shandu! Off the woodwork and away! Bandile Shandu, it's been kept alive though by Chukamanja. That's a penalty! Surely, indeed, a penalty. Supersport United find it all falling apart in the space of mere minutes here at the end of this opening half. Gigi Johannes. He made Unbelievable. I mean, that's the character that you want to, to have in as far as your team being able to really push on and believe that it can still happen. And uh, look at Lamini composed and uh, once again he could have done better the young star experience count in this matters well Bundy Lechanda could have had his uh, goal there and then this Chukumanja with a run straight down the center with his first penalty up against Ronan Williams again Hotto for his second in the match and to equalize for Orlando Pirates and he does so brilliantly this time goes to the side and the Buccaneers in the space of three minutes have gone from two goals down to level with Supersport United. Football will kill you dead. This time I like it to the side and as a goalkeeper we think if he went that direction maybe it's going to change and which is what Roman had in his mind that the Hotto opted to go almost the same way different talk come the half time and two set pieces two corners from Supersport United that led to the their goals Weber to feed and a header that is only just swept over and away another header on target my word Oh, look at that. Was Presence that, of mind. Was that a 40 or Hotto? Because yeah, I, I think thought it was Hotto initially, but... Oh, it is Hotto, yes. Presence of mind. Uh, so you get some defenders just standing on the line. Uh, that are not led to the danger, but Hotto was excellent. You know, to think that he's the man that scores the two goals and saved Pirates a goal. And... Pirates through Marco on the rampage here. Here's Dion Hotto. Four players waiting in the centre for a delivery to come, and it's come the way of Pasika Marco, but he's unable to direct that ball goal bound.
can tell you, you'll notice this. If the ball came from across, and it, if it finds you standing. Well, Super Sport United has got the uh, match jersey on, putting his shins in. Great shot here, it's taken towards Richard Ofori, who spills it, and also nearly on the follow-up. Ikram Reyn is stealing in, Ofori quick to recover. But a long throw again that proves testing. It's a loose ball that Talent and Barter has just turned. He's lost his bandage as well. Now, Kabuza charging through. Kabuza still going. Is there a finish to come? And not very far away. Cut into the inside. And Dainty, stronger right foot. All it needed is a better kill to catch the goalkeeper in the far post. Search for a late winning goal. They had come here. Malasso looking to Tiat Musele. Musele has done it in the 90th minute. In added time, Goodman Musele has come true, and Super Sport United have gone from two goals up to a goal down with seconds left on the clock. Now, that is character from Orlando Pirates. At a time that I didn't think that they were going to bounce back. And uh, the fact that they kept probing uh, Dwayne. And it's a good strike. A wait. Two assists in the Royal Leopards win over the weekend. Goodman Musele coming good right at the very end. Chukumanja with the ball hacked back into space. Mabaso thought about going by himself and then opted to play it back to Musele who had his choice. Listen, not only did he lace it, it was a little more with the side foot, but there was good power. Look at that. That was quality of the ice kind with a little bit of a curl to beat Roman Williams.